Mornings at 9 o'clock. Start right now. Computer hackers looking at you every time you look at this. We'll show you how they're doing it and how you can protect yourself. And beware, hackers may be watching you and you won't even know it. Just after the break, we'll tell you how people are accessing your webcam and taking a peek into your home without you even knowing it. Do you have a webcam? Think you're in control of it? Well, if it's unprotected, the answer is no. It's a Microsoft security loophole. It's been around for years, yet people still leave their webcams open for hackers. Fox 31's Nina Sperano joins us to explain how it works. How's it work? It's kind of scary. And the question you got to ask yourself is, is your webcam watching you? Not you watching the webcam. Yeah, that's, that's nice. I yeah. know. Well, hackers are spying on innocent users via their webcam and, and a microphone. And there are two different ways the hackers are doing this and making their way into your living room. Well, here's the proof and the solution to the problem. Anybody on the web can view this stuff. You think security on your computer and webcam is tight. You feel protected. But hackers find their way in. I'm shocked, honestly. It's really scary, actually, to think that somebody can do that. It starts with a simple email, link, or program sent to you. The bad guys go out there and they find vulnerabilities in different applications and programs. Once you click it, your computer is overrun by the hacker's program. When the hackers find a problem before it's fixed, it's called a zero-day or an O-day exploit. The exploit program can remotely turn on your webcam, watch what you're looking at online, even listen to what you're saying. Even worse, the longer these programs are around, the easier they are to use. Anyone with very little technical skill or knowledge could actually launch these attacks. Meet Charles Tendell. He's a certified ethical hacker. He set up two laptops to show us how this works. One is the victim computer. The other is the spy. You really can't tell, but on my machine, I've got remote control of this one. I can capture audio. I can capture webcams. I can capture the screen of what they're looking at. It's like a door left wide open for hackers, all from loopholes in Microsoft's program and Internet Explorer. And the worst part is most people don't even know this kind of hack exists. It's kind of crazy what people can do. And, and how simple it seems to be to do that. Network security web cameras are a popular way for people to keep an eye on their home and business while they're away. What people don't realize is if those devices are a network device, someone can very easily just search on the web for these. But all a hacker needs to know is the type of camera you're using. Do a special search and... Look like they're enjoying a pretty good lunch there. Webcams on businesses, backyards, even baby rooms. It's a loophole in security that may never be fixed. It's the one element of computer security that no one will ever be able to close. It's the human element. Sounds creepy, I know. But there are a couple things you can do to protect your computer. First, make sure your antivirus is up to date. That's what we always tell you to do, but you need to do it. Pay attention to the links that you click on. If you don't know where the link is coming from, just don't click on it. And if you suspect you may be infected, there are a couple of free tools you can use to scan your PC. Go to kdvr.com right now for more information. And if you link up through a network webcam, make sure it is password protected. A lot of people bring these things home, they just plug them in and use them, and they fail to skip that step. You got to go through the password to make sure it is protected. I did contact Microsoft to see if they had any solutions to the problem, and after a phone call, even a couple email exchanges, I never really got an answer from them. Seemed like they wanted to help, but in the end, they couldn't tell me what to do. So really, there is no solution to it. There, there, what you can do is follow yeah. those couple of yeah. steps. You know, if you're using one of those network cameras, make sure you go through the step to set up a password to yeah. protect it and keep your, e your uh, antivirus up to date and make sure you don't click on anything it, that you don't know where it's coming from. It is creepy. It's totally creepy. And you <laughs> know what? Next time out, you're sitting in front of your laptop with those built-in webcams, you might want to shut the laptop when it's just sitting around and you're not using it because you never know. Thanks, Nina. Creepy. Mm -hmm. And make sure to keep your <laughs> antivirus up to date. Absolutely. You've got it. All right.